I'm going to show you how Bill would use this method in teaching. And he did this with almost everybody. <laughs> Absolutely with beginners. You can take a beginner and have them, have them hit golf balls like this. And in no time, they're hitting good shots. You just cut the grass before the golf ball. And then you walk into the golf ball. And you hit it. 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 And your arms and legs are in perfect timing. So you can do that yourself. You take real golf balls. I don't take real balls. I'll have them all over the place. And do the same kind of thing to teach yourself the timing between arms and legs. You simply cut the grass. And all I'm doing is turning on one leg at a time, and I'm taking a step. There's nothing wrong with taking the left foot completely off the ground when you hit a golf ball. It will give you good timing and good balance. Bill did that one time in a tournament. He said the only person that saw it was my caddy. And I won the tournament. We simply start short, take a couple swings, and hit the golf ball. And hit the golf ball. And hit the golf ball. Take away the pivot. What did my arms do? They went like this. That's what they do in everything you've ever done. And you don't have to know any of that stuff. Just make your golf swing like your grass whip swing. But make sure that you do it properly, or as, as close to properly as you can. You need, first off, to have muscles and joints at ease in their performance. Any tension in any muscle or any joint retards you the utmost in speed and control. It's in one of the 150. So, because here's what happens. We have a little lever in the fingers. I could throw this thing over to that grass with this lever. Now, if I'm squeezing, I don't have it. I want freedom. I want some freedom. I want some freedom. I want some freedom. So it goes there. It goes there. That's how it's done. And it also does that on the other side. So freedom, comfort, at ease, and uh, I, put a, I put a grass whip in my golf bag for over a year, back in the middle 70s. I was trying to create some speed, and I wanted to do it in timing. So I would cut grass, and I would imagine I was walking into a very woody weed, and I had to clip that weed. I had to go so fast that that weed just couldn't handle it. And so you can go as big and as fast as you want. In other words, you measure the shot that you're going to play with the grass whipping action that you're taking. I would take it, and I'd walk into that weed, and I'd move as fast as I could. And it worked. I got longer. <laughs>